Hello, Amanda here with Crafting with Amanda, and I just wanted to take a minute today to say thank you to everyone who has shared and liked and subscribed to my channel and helped me grow my business over the last year. July is when I started this YouTube adventure, and I really appreciate your help. So I'm using leftovers from the Wander Paper Kit, and I had those um, I have photos from 1995 when my then boyfriend, now husband, and I went to Arizona for his brother's wedding. And I can't believe how young we look there. So these papers, I love the mountain scene in them and the sun. And, and I only want one sun on the layout, so I have an idea for how I'm going to make this all come together and look like one layout. And I cut the center out. I kind of, they call it gutting the center of my cardstock. And I am had a piece or a scribble of pencil on it and I erased it. But then I realized I wanted to use the light side of the cardstock anyhow. So I'm butting these up together so I can kind of see it as one flowing layout. And then just to kind of give it an anchor and make it go from the top to the bottom, I'm adding the cardstock there on the left and that Sundance cardstock and it's four by 12 inches wide and that will um, important to know later because I have all of these photos and I'm going to actually make a big flip page so that you can see multiple photos on that left hand side so I went ahead and cut the center out of the left hand page and now I'm just adhering down and I almost forgot that I wanted to have this bumped to the right side so that it's one continuous from left to right but I did remember before I glued it down so yay and then my son is in the upper right corner and I'm going ahead and putting that Sundance cardstock down on the left hand page and you see I got another piece of Sundance that's also 4 by 12 inches and I will be using that as kind of a an extra flap of real estate I'll call it for putting my photos on. Close to my heart doesn't have any 4 by 12 flip flaps but I will show you later in the video how I cut one of the 6 by 12 flip flaps down and will use it when I put it in my album. I was playing with these photos and what placement I wanted and I just to the left of my layout I saw this strip of peacock and it was perfect. It kind of balances with the bottom of the printed paper and it just it, it's a nice anchor so I ended up putting that on there and I'm using the rulers on the versa mats that are underneath my layouts to make sure that I get it on straight and it's kind of a half inch from the edge and it just it's just one of those things that um, you can kind of use your eye but also if you use measurements of half inches and, and things like that proportions just are easy on the eye so I'm auditioning different pieces of paper for the layout and where I want these pictures to go for the inside and keep in mind that the inside I kind of want balanced so I'm gonna end up making a um, mirrored image of that peacock banner that I did originally and I'm, I'm just splitting this half because it's going to end up being behind the photo and I don't cut a straight line for anything so that's why I grab my cutter to do that and now I'm just going to kind of make a cluster of or a grouping I'll call it of um, ribbon ends um, kind of banners that just stack one on top of each other and I'm slipping the papers underneath the photo just so that um, the end is covered and I didn't have to take that whole long strip since I'm trying to use the white or the creamy color that came off of the original paper and this way I know it'll match absolutely perfectly no issues with that and I'm trying to use my T rulers to make sure that I align these up since they're two parts into a straight line and it was funny it's kind of off screen but I didn't want to move the layouts to the center because um, I wanted to make sure that the rest of my layouts didn't go off camera so that's kind of why I was playing with that over there so I'm just gluing down some of these as we go and I'm gonna cut my little banner end at the bottom of this and tuck it in on the right hand part of the inside flap and then I'm gonna use the rest of this for the top of the page and I didn't have enough that was just the um, the plain creamy color so I went ahead and grabbed the other piece that I had cut off one of the other pages for the background and just added that to the top there. 
So we're kind of getting some balance and now I can put some thing, some photos on the front that's actually going to appear to be the front of the layout. And it's not the same color, but it's it's the same layout, it's the same style with the banner going underneath the photo. And again, that just gives some uniformity to the page. I've really enjoyed this Wander paper. Um, I have so many photos from Grand Canyon. We've only been there twice, but the it's just breathtaking. So I have all these photos and it just, they work so well for it. This is one of the frames and I cut it apart to kind of just bring that glacier paper to both sides because I have the glacier in the background of the Grand Canyon emblem. And I do have a video, um, the first layout that I did, that I do a little Cricut tutorial on how I made that three colors. So I will put that link up here kind of above the sun on the screen if you want to check out how to make the Grand Canyon patch with three colors using contour. So I'm just going through, um, I bought the workshop for the Wander paper and it had so many icons and images that it was just somewhat overwhelming but so much fun to just pull and oh this will work this you know this one we're not camping but we can have a water bottle because we absolutely had a water bottle that day and it was just a lot of fun pulling all the different um, papers and images and words and arrows and then I put a marker of the you are here on the map the picture of the map that I had taken and you can't really see it on the camera or on the video but that angel crest or it's not angel crest sorry it's called bright angel trail um, is on that you can see it in the photo in real life and then it matches the bright angel trail that you see on the dotted line in the map so I'm just looking at some of these I love the little cactus I thought about cutting out some cactus on the Cricut for this layout and decided not to I was going to use kind of the the sparse pine trees and I was trying to figure out a way to add an arrow to show to highlight that um, bright angel trail and instead I used another location spot this is how I cut the page protector apart not the page protector the flip flap and on the original flip flap it's six by eight and you can see that it has like a half an inch that's longer on one side than the other so I need to cut that off on this and I just had an old um, cuddle bug cutting mat or um, plate so I'm using that kind of to protect so I don't cut through both parts of the page protector and I'm just using a metal ruler and an um, exacto knife or a blade a utility blade really and I went off a little bit so I'm just fixing that with my scissors here and then I'll cut the bottom of it and then you just remove that one side of the page protector and what that does for you is it gives you a space to put your double-sided um, like red score tape and then you can use that just as you would normally use any flip flap by if you put it on your layout great I'm gonna put mine on top of my page protector and I cut this down you need it to be a half inch longer or wider I should say than the size you want to give you that half inch to fold back and if you just it's a little um, tricky to fold it the first time, but after you get it folded once, you can use a bone folder to really give it a tight crease. And now I'm just showing you some of the embellishment pieces that I used. Some came from the workshop, the die cut, some came from the sticker sheet. The two Picture My Life cards there on the left on the inside are actually from old, old paper packs. I couldn't even tell you which set they came with, but they worked. They had the glacier, they had the right colors, which is perfect. That's one of the things I love about Close to My Heart is you can go back and pull things from six, eight, ten years ago and the colors still match. So I didn't want to do any of my journaling on this because I'm going to talk about um, our trip to Arizona and and uh, flying on a red eye and and how that made life interesting because we were both young and didn't have many vacation days left so I didn't include that on but I will be adding journaling and then I felt like there was kind of some sparse areas and so I'm adding these um, crosses or star kind of to me they almost look like pixie dust in the in a sense and I'm just adding different colors from the sticker sheet I end up using all the rest of them on this layout and I really like it I did cut the Young Love twice out of the thin cut dies and it's just the standard block 
letters, I believe, and I double mounted them. So I just slid the peacock behind the sage cardstock just to give it some dimension and just make it a little fun. And I will also be putting the photo of my husband um, in a flip flap so that you can see his goofy photo underneath and not, um, and it's not there on the page. So here's a close up of the left page, open and shut, and then the right page. And I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for all your support. Bye now.